The House of Representatives they don't pass the bill for the inclusion of independent candidates for the country electoral laws. The bill will scale the second reading, being they referred to the House and Committee for Constitution Review for more Bunge legislative input parties. As it is today, in most cases, I did not say in all, in most cases, aspirants are subjected to the caprices of godfathers. And because political parties in Nigeria are mostly not ideologically based, people are forced to align themselves with the party and political party officials whose ideology is alien to some Nigerians. Uh, Zoom in my constituency, we have like 50 independent candidates. This means that INEC, we have to print ballot papers in their different locals. And the cost of litigation will be so high that Nigerians will suffer for it. Our political parties have the same manifesto, the same aims and objectives. And as such, there is a need for people that have contrary opinion or contrary views and are desirous to say these contrary views and opinions to the public for the purpose of being elected to have an alternative platform where they are going to say this their manifestos and programs for Nigerians for possible election to elective office. I know there are professionals today in Nigeria that will want to participate in politics, but the rigors of getting involved in the political parties as it is today would discourage them. So if we have a system like this that a professional that feels is popular with the grassroots, with his people, can get signatures and become a candidate. Why not? 